Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these cute Be Kind tins using tins I purchased from the dollar store and some 651 vinyl to create the decal to stick to one of these tins. These were quite fun and very easy to create. I will leave all of my supplies listed in the description box below. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. Alright, so this is my design that I'm going to be using. When you can be anything, be kind. And I think that is great for the world today. I think we all need to work together and be kind to each other. So I thought, what a perfect thing to put out on the porch. Um, I'm just going to be using a flower tin from the dollar store. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this really quick. So there's actually three colors in here or four colors technically. So you have the black here, the yellow, the brown, and then you have the black and the yellow here. But then he also has like cream colored wings. I'm actually thinking of leaving them black or even turning them white. Um, I don't really like the cream color up here, so I might change that. But as you can see on this side here, everything is going to cut out separately. So I like to put everything together when I can. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go up to the ungroup button and that's just going to ungroup everything that uh, is not already grouped together. So it looks like the sun, sunflower is already connected and the kind is connected, anything. So all the words are connected, but I want it actually connected together so that when I cut it out, I don't have to re-put them together on my design or on my flower tin. So I'm actually going to select all of these together. So I'm going to click on kind and start there. I'm holding the command button down. I have a Mac computer, so it might be different than yours. It might be the control button. It might be a shift button. But for mine, it's the command. So I'm starting with this one. I'm going to hold down the command button and select B and then I'm gonna keep holding it down click on anything can be when you so if you look on the side here all of these are darker it means that all of these are selected and they're gonna cut out uh, the way that it looks so the only thing I have to do is click weld and the reason I do weld instead of attach is because when these cut out if I would not do that these little lines would appear here and they would cut out so I have this all selected as one piece now so when it cuts out it's gonna look just like this the other things I want to add to it is the black part on the B here and then also the little line so with this part selected I can go over here and now grab this one so I'm gonna push the command button and I'm gonna grab that so that's just grabbing the little lines from the B and then also what we just welded. So now I'm going to go ahead and click attach. Now you do not have to do this. I'm just doing it for the purposes of for myself that when I cut it out, it's going to be just the way that I want it to be. I don't have to figure out where anything goes or align anything. So it just makes it much easier. So I think see two more things on here. I see this part, which is this part here, which I think I'm actually going to leave black. I was going to do it brown, but I think I'm going to keep everything just really simple with the three colors so with the already selected my other parts up here these are already cut are already attached together I'm gonna grab these two extra pieces so again I'm gonna hold down the command button and then I can do it on this side see right here so I just grabbed the rest the black part of the bee and then also the middle part of the sunflower I'm gonna go ahead and click attach and it's still there. I didn't lose anything. The bee's still behind it. So I just wanted to show you that. So don't get scared if you do this and your little bee guy goes away. He's still there. So you can see it here. So I have two more that I'm going to do. I want this yellow piece and this yellow piece to cut out exactly as it looks. So I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to grab this, hold on the command button, and grab my bee. Because I cannot see the bee up here, but I know it's still there. And I'm going to click attach. There it is. So everything is the way that I want it. And I actually like it with the black um, wings on it. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is. So it's going to cut out two colors, the black and then the yellow. So you can see everything here is attached to each other. So it actually looks like this is going to cut out as well. I'm going to push this little button here and it just hides it. I don't need this extra part. So I'm just going to hide it so it's not going to cut anything out. So the last thing I have to do is actually select all of it and change the size. For my little tin that I have, I figured it'd be 
it is about a 3.75 and then I'm just going to do it at 3.75. So I'm going to go up to here to the size and then just type in 3.75. So there it's going to cut out just like that. So it'll cut all the black out that you see and then all the yellow as well. So it has two basic cuts. So you have this one, which you can see on the side here, and then the black all here. And then we hid this, so it's not going to cut that out. So this is going to be the size of my piece itself. I think it's the perfect size. I might actually grab it and make it just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to unlock it here and then maybe pull it out a little bit more. I'm trying not to go over the 3.75 much because I don't want it to overlap on my tin itself. Um, so I love it the way it is. I'm just going to go ahead and make it here. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it attached everything. So this is going to be one whole cut. So when you put it on your tin, you don't have to figure out where anything goes. You just align it the way it is. And then also here too. You don't really have to cut this out separately. I mean, you don't have to cut this out the way it looks. You can cut it out separately so you're not wasting all of this vinyl here. But just for the pur purposes of the video, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So that's what it's going to turn out to be. So I'm going to click the continue button. I'm going to click this stencil vinyl. I don't use a lot of the Cricut brands, so this is the one that works for me. Click on whatever one works for you, but I'm just going to click on the stencil vinyl. It's just going to tell me to put my fine point blade in, which I always have in. And so I'm going to cut this out. I will weed it out, and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh my goodness, guys. I love how these turned out. I created a few more of these tins since I finished this video. I finished it up by using some transfer tape to apply my decal to my tin. Be sure to clean your tin with some alcohol before you apply your decal. This helps ensure a clean surface. I hope you learned something new and will go out and create your own Be Kind tins. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting everyone!